Welcome back guys. In this video, we will learn about manual scanning setup in OOSPZAP. We will learn how to set up proxy in OOSPZAP and on our Firefox browser. We will also learn how to add ZAP certificates in Firefox as well in the OOSPZAP. So let's begin. So here we have our zap. First of all, we need to go to tools and then we need to click on the options. So once we got our options, then you need to go to local proxies. Here as we can see, we have here local proxies. That's it now. So from here, you can see it is telling us that if these options have been moved to network, local proxies and proxies. So let's search for network. Where is network? So here we have network and here we have local server proxies. Now follow this step carefully because this is very important step and very carefully to be followed. So here you need to put this address which is our local address. It is 1 to 7.0.0.1 and our port number will be 8080 that is 80 and 80. So once you have put this just click on OK. Now go to your browser that is we have Firefox and go to your settings. In settings you need to go to the network configuration which is present here network setting. Click on the settings. Now here you need to enter a manual proxy configuration and there you will put 1 to 7.0.0.1 and the port number should be the same which you have already put in the OASP zap configuration. So then you need to click on OK that's it. Now we have successfully done the first step. It is the proxy setup and OASP zap and the proxy setup and the Firefox. Now let's move towards these app certificates. How to add that certificate? It's also not that much difficult. So what you need to do is first of all go to again tools and then click on options. So this may take some time and display in the options menu, just wait for it. So once the option menu is displayed, what you can do is to search for the dynamic SSL certificate. So we have found it here, dynamic SSL certificate. But here again, the settings are changed and you can see that these options have been moved to network server certificate. So let's move to network. Here we have network and here we have server certificates. So this is your certificate. This is very important to use the certificate and your Firefox as well. Why? Because without importing ZAP certificate, ZAP will be unable to handle simultaneous web request forwarding and intercept and intercepting. So do not skip this step. Now what you need to do is you need to click on the save button and save it somewhere where it is easily accessible to you. So I am just saving it in a folder called data science. So let's save it here and that's it and click on OK. Now all setting from the OASP ZAP is completed. Now again, open your Firefox browser and from the three lines, click on settings. So once you have got your setting page in Firefox, just search for certificate. So here you have the certificate options. Click on view certificate. Now what you need to do is you need to import that certificate which we just saved from the OASP app. So click on import and find that certificate which you have just saved somewhere. So let's search it out for OASP zap we have that will be present in our data science folder. So here we have OASP zap root certificate. Just double click on it and click on trust this CA to identify websites. Also click on trust this CA to identify email users. Now click on OK and then click on OK. So now we have successfully added the certificate to Firefox browser as well. So we have successfully set up our manual scanning and OASP zap. We have successfully set up our proxy on both OASP zap and on Firefox. We also set up these app certificates in OASP zap as well and then the Firefox. So in the next video we will start brute forcing directories. So stay tuned.